Hi folks, thanks for uh, checking us out, Lost Mines. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to the channel. Let's go and look for a mine. Fit. Let's have a look. <laughs> yep, I think I'll fit in that one. There we go. We'll so, be a bit wet there. Since you haven't been underground today yet, I'll let you go first. Thank you very much. Made it in. Slightly flooded. Oh, so it's, it's not a crosscut, it's driven on the vein. We're right on it already. We are, yeah. We've got a choice of directions. Yeah. All right. Life path or the family path? <laughs> yeah. I'm going to go for the wider one. First. Okay. Seems to have lost the vein a bit. There's not uh, drifting anything at the moment. Ah. Look at all this. Ah, right then. A, a timber of unknown yes. purpose. However, we have hit a load. Amazing load, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. They've stoked it east and west. I'm rich beyond my wildest dreams. <laughs> Wow, there we that's go. amazing. Pyrite in that. Oh, I don't say that spoils my dreams. <laughs> <laughs> Plenty of quartz here, mate. It's unbelievable. Look at this, some sort of all shoot. Is it? Is that a wave? Oh, it's a, um, it's a manway going up. Oh. Manway going up. I'm going to have a look at this roof. Oh, 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 oh. Now then, look what I've found. We've got... Linerite here, just seeing if the camera can focus on it. Linerite, which is the blue stuff there. We've got malachite, which is the green stuff there. Little specks of pyrite of fool's gold. And more of it. More of it up here. Malachite, linerite, pyrite. Very pretty. Look at the vein above. Look at that. Oh, whoa, look at that. Oh. Yeah, full. It's absolutely full of full well. of copper, iron, quartz. Wow. It's everywhere, man. It's absolutely everywhere. Why do they give up? Do they? Well, see, this is. It looks really nice and pretty. It does, doesn't it? But it's. I mean, saying that there is galena in it up there, but it's oh, not. Look at that. That lovely blue. That economical. Yeah. See, most of those are secondary mineralizations. Right. So they wouldn't have uh, been so evident when it was being worked. And also, they're not of that great commercial value. But it's unusual since there's so much of it left to see. That's for sure. But see how quickly it falls off here. It's amazing. Yeah. However, I am surprised they didn't follow it a bit further because it does look much better than some of the loads we've seen underground. That's for sure. That's what I've ever seen. There's a rib of galena running down in that one. Oh, wow. This is pretty cool. It's like uh, oh, it's river rock. It's a glacial conglomerate. Yeah, isn't yeah. It? That's the word I was thinking. Look of. at that. <laughs> <laughs> Who wouldn't think of glacial conglomerate? Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Look how it's set. Massive river boulders in there. See. Amazing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So this was a fault. And during the last ice age, it was filled up with uh, with these boulders, sediment. You'd expect to see a fossil in there, wouldn't you? Yeah. Huh, wouldn't this type of rock doesn't tend to have many fossils just around here for some reason. It doesn't seem to be it's, very... It's so impressive. See these curved boulders there? Those were washed down rivers back in the last ice age. Do you know this has to be the most impressive thing I've ever seen in a mine? Really? I've never seen it before. Oh. You've been in more mines than I, I'm sure you have. I, I've fallen in love with this. These big chunks of galena, linerite yeah, and malachite in the roof. Oh, they have chunks of gold, you know, the fool's gold, the iron pyrite. Yeah. The chunks of the stuff. Oh, the torches are... Uh, torches are talking. Torches are talking. <laughs> wow. Absolutely beautiful. And that vein there above your head, on your slightly... T yeah, there. <gasps> running down. Okay. And see these little, oh. um, these holes up there in it. Those are called views, V-U-G-H, or sometimes pronounced vugs. Basically little cavities within the load. Often get crystals forming in those cavities. It's just 
massive, massive, massive load. I was just so impressed with it. Yeah, it is very surprising why they didn't follow it further. That is quite a spectacle. <laughs> it's a heavy piece that's full of galena. It's really heavy for its size. Oh, sure, yeah. Wow. What a cool short. I think this deserves a wow wee, doesn't it? Yeah, a short level, but what a fine. Yeah. Did you check out this manway? No. Oh, well, I put the head in it, but I have no water for the cotton. All right, yeah. Oh, it's, yeah, it's blocked with that staging up there. I'm getting wet. I'll uh, stick my head up there in a second now. It looks a bit uh, choked with boulders. It's down here. Yeah, that's the end there. So the load isn't very productive over here. It seems to have fallen off much quicker in this direction. And up through that hole in the roof, we've got another layer of... Um, of that conglomerate, see up through there. There's more of that glacial conglomerate up there. Quite a bit more malachite and linerite up there. Some galena. Running down there. You like your, your glacial conglomerate, don't you, Al? That's still out. Well, there's a bit more of it up here. If you look through that hole in the roof, it goes up into a cavity that's been filled with the stuff. Oh, yeah. Up in that cavity there. So it must go all the way along. All the way along, above this load. That's why they haven't followed the load up anymore. Because it's just all of that conglomerate up there. That would explain a lot. It's up there too. And it's up there too. So that's exactly why they haven't followed this load up. Because it just stops right there. It's cut. It's bisected by that zone of, uh, of conglomerate. There's colours everywhere here. It's like a rainbow. <laughs> what a short level this is, eh? Oops, <laughs> nearly fell over. Hey, yo, well, let's, let's uh, go and check somewhere else out. Yeah, let's we? go find some more. Yeah, and in there was something else. Amazing. It appears as though um, this level never really had a tramway either. It's just like a wheelbarrow running along the floor. Yes. So all the levels, well, <laughs> two levels we've done today have been quite primitive so far. Oh, hang on a minute. There's that other tunnel we haven't been down. Oh yeah, there was. Hang on. Let's go down there. <laughs> um, here. here it is. Enormous piece of timber in here for goodness knows what. Carved into it. Carved at one end. Yeah. Oh, look at the mud formations before I stand in the water. Nice. Wow, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Yeah. Like a crust, a crusty layer on top of the water. Oh, this is quite a high level, isn't it? Looks it. Ah, that's the end of here. Oh, we're on a hanging wall. It's following a very small vein, but it's virtually nothing in it. Not, not like where we've just been. No, <laughs> no. Shot holes here. There's something on the floor at the end there, look. What's that? Oh, just boy come and visit in the, yeah, yeah. DM. Very small shot holes, so it looks to be maybe late 18th century, maybe early 19th. Let's go look somewhere else then, shall we? Let's do it. Check out the funky wall. How the spoil heap above has just pushed that wall down and walked the whole thing. So that wall went all the way along there. Yeah. A lot of it's disappeared. Yeah. Now. You can see some of it just up the end there somewhere. That's there it is. And then it goes all the way down there. The spoil heap has covered most of it. And then there's that crazy bit of it. <laughs> It's getting rather windy. Yeah. Let's get underground, Leon. We're back underground. We found another level. Let's go check it out. So this one dates from 1823. So that's a little bit more recent than the other
Wow, it sounds echoey. Yeah. Whoa. Nice big stone. And the level goes east and west along it. Wow. So we're in what we call the waterfall level. And you'll see why in a bit. It's not be and it's not because of that. Yeah, it's not because of that. We've got something better in store later on. Let's go down here, shall we, first? Yeah. Wowzers, getting soaked. <clears throat> So, we are, well you are, so walking from here, one of the classic dangers of mine exploring, so it's a le le this be a lesson to anyone out there who's going down mines, is it's all a lot of false floor, and you can see the gaps in the timbers right there. That goes a long way down, camera's not picking her up unfortunately, but I can see a long, long way down there. That has to be our OV. Yeah, I reckon. And I think it will fit through there. Oh, yeah. If we could safely get to it. Yeah, because the back on the bedrock is back. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah. If you could shine your torch through there, it might highlight a, cr a look across. <gasps> look at that. Can you see anything? I can see, but the camera's not quite picking it up. Uh, That's mega deep. We actually, that has to be ROV. That's awesome. For sure. Well, it, yeah, it will fit through there. Yeah, easily. So it's a very short false floor. Yeah. But we know about this, but a lot of people wouldn't know about that. People walking in sometimes don't look at the floor and they just walk right across the middle and it would come around the ledge on the we, side. Uh, we actually look everywhere when we're exploring. Every time you go into a new mine, especially a, a lost mine that you don't know, it's always oh. looking at the floor, oh, yeah. looking at the walls, looking at the roof, totally. reading as you go. Yes. This is not quite a lost mine. Uh, but it's an awesome mine. It's a cool one. And what we're going for later on after we do these two is we have got a lot more to finish off with. We're going to get the ROV out for that one as well. Yeah, we've got to send it down there. That was asking for the ROV. Yes. <laughs> Looks down here. It's really huge, that one. Yeah, it is. Nice smooth wall on the right. Yeah. I think that's the end. I just can't get over how massive this is. If I go ahead of it, or if I, if I yeah. film you, you go stand down oh, there. Station. Oh, it's station light, there we go. If you go stand down there, you'll see how, how tall this is. Yeah. Unusually large for mines around here, anyway. Duet, which is Welsh for the end. <laughs> yeah, there it is. It's just a very, very small little play joint. See, they've drifted this for that distance, for that far, on a tiny, tiny little play joint like that. And the level that we did a few minutes ago had that massive copper load in it, and they'd only gone about 20 foot along it. Makes no sense. <laughs> Doesn't make much sense, does it? Let's go and see the um, highlight this mine. 